Hello, storytellers. Storytelling Ron. Last 48 hours of my little teeny weeny little Kickstarter here. Um, oh, let's see. Which one is it? This one? Look at that cute little $840. So I appreciate it. Um, 28 backers. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's tough. This is a tough market. I'm, I'm trying to get across that, you know, a Christian role playing game where you play a missionary. It's that's a why don't I just stick with 5e? Why don't I just stick with, you know, the broadest appeal and, and and whenever I put like a D and D on my YouTube videos, it gets a lot of plays and a lot of it, you know, controversy because I'm obviously going up against the beast. Um, you know, I love D and D and role playing games, so I'm not. I but I'm just, you know, Christians. We need to we need to bring our faith into the game. We actually need to bring our faith into the game, and we can. And I'm trying to do everything I can to prove it to you and myself uh, that that's possible. So. In this game, you're going to be getting all this stuff, especially if you do VTTs or, you know, you can get Foundry for 50 bucks and um, or use Albear or whatever free one. And you can throw in all these assets. These are all WebP files. So they're small. Uh, these are part of the VTT digital assets. Uh, you know, I got this is this was a spaceship um, uh, ambush against some pirates over here. You can see they're kind of hidden now, but. Uh, this, all these dudes are available. Uh, all these, you know, you, the stats are very easy to copy and paste the character sheet and I'll show you how to do this if you need to but the character sheets are all PDFs you can load in and use them like this if you want uh, dice is still a little tricky you know you got to use the keep the highest or whatever but use the the dice tray and, and keep the highest number or whatever but um, we, we, we figure it out um, and let me just show you some of the you know these are like, this is their their church that they planted on you know, they, they they did a little adventure here fighting off the red cult took this this platform and now it's their church over this planet and there's some ships that they've gotten well they well they gotten for the church the church is using them uh they they, they converted some decanoids which are like crabmen and yes these are humans in in this christian sci-fi is biblically adherent and creation science adherent and the uh, decanoids are mutated humans right so the empire went around terraforming and mutated all humans and animals so you can have all kinds of crazy beasts let me show you um the mining adventure and the again i provide you with all these you can make your own uh dungeon or mine that they went exploring and here's some creatures space wormy giant space leech um uh see the giant tentacore these are all in the game um part of the package giant crabbies uh, i mean they're small crabbies and little crabbies and hovercraft they had the whole adventure here so uh went salvaging through the through the junk here to get stuff um and the, here's where they landed and then went down into the mines and their security bots so you got some crazy security bots they had to fight so you know all kinds of fun stuff here uh for the that you can sci-fi uh oh here look they had a so these are um the dread bots which are like terminators in space this is the interior of the ship um that you can make your own and you can make up your own little weird you know thing and um they shot terminators at them they're called exterminators um and the exterminators uh boarded and they had to fight them and i, I kind of posed this but um just to show it but they blew, blew out they blew out their little dreadbot no i mean dreadbot uh tempe their servo bot no and uh you know they came on board and and, and yes you literally in the game very simplistically you can damage parts of the ship uh to then you know you, you got to run around or airlock and close it off as you fight them as they're coming onto your ship and that's what they did. Uh, where's the little guy? Oh, so over here, just so you know, is the supplies of the ship. And this is in the game, or uh, in the, in the yeah, provided. And this is the ship, and these are all the different, see, this is the parts of the ship that you roll, you know, you, you roll randomly to see what part is hit and how much damage is taken taken during a battle. And if that part is an engine or whatever, you're, you're you know, you're stuck in space and uh-oh. Uh, so each part actually has its own armor save and and hull points, which is hit points. So yeah, you can you're gonna get randomly parts of your ship are gonna get blown up, and you gotta deal with that, or or you shoot them, and same thing. So yeah, I'm I'm a, this is a full on fully fleshed out uh, galaxy. Well, not fully fleshed out because I'm still working on it, but you get two campaign settings. Uh, this one here is three planets, a high well hydro station, gas state ga gas planet plus the raptorine and Solaka, so desert world and water world plus planet flotsam that's in the first setting um oh leyland's in there too the corporate um like mining planet station moon or whatever and then in the second 
campaign is the mutant marauder is the scary area over here with the wolf 359 these planets oh this one's this one over here too i got a lot of work i got a lot to work. i still got a lot of work on guys so um even though the the Kickstarter is still ending. This is pretty much done, but I'm kind of fleshing out more. This one, I got to really get to work. I got a bunch of stuff to work, work, work on that. Um, um, but it's it's in the PDF. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be giving you... This is... I haven't even used this yet, but look at that. You're going to get these assets. You can make your own cities. This is ridiculous. Okay? So you can make your own... You can move them around in, in the uh, foundry if you want. Um, if you're using foundry... I mean... You can cut, these are printable too. If you want the printable version or the printable PDF where you can print out, print these out and put these down on a table. Um, I would print them out on cardstock, a little bit, a little bit stronger material, but this is available too. This is all here. So you can create your own industrial space city. And I just, I just kind of was working on it and saying, hmm, see, these are all like stackables. So you can make a, a big building or a small building. And I was trying to figure that out. Like, how do I make a big building? Cause I don't want to, and these are all eight and a half by 11 uh, size like pages you print it on a hand and a half by 11 and printer friendly so it's just black ink so you're, you're only printing out the ink part you know you're not printing out color um and i like it i like the black and white because you know it's just kind of cool and different i don't have to color it because that's time consuming and um and i can draw a whole bunch of different things and i'm constantly drawing new ones like whenever i have a new setting a new world um i come out with new stuff and here's something you're gonna be getting too uh bu -bu -bu -bu. is it here yeah it's here Man, so this is going to be um, in the new the setting. This is a coral reef type. Um, uh, where's a good one? Here, Planet Tusk. Okay, here we are. This is going to be Tusk Town. And I'm, I just started it. I haven't finished it. Now, granted, these are scaled up, these corals. But you can, you know, they're 8.5 by 11. But I scaled them up for the simplicity of using it on a VTT. But, you know, if you're doing it on a table, I would not, rec you know, maybe don't print these out. Well, you could. And use them, but you have to print out a whole bunch to make a big town. But um, uh, these these coral mounds that are sort of floating on the planet, and then they got towns on them. So, and I'm still working on this part, but um, um, that's also going to be available in in this setting. Um, so yeah, this is the the game. It's it's fully fleshed out. I'm just you know play testing a little bit more, polishing a little more. But it, but and the parts that I'm polishing is that because they're going up at high levels, um, and they're doing engineering and crafting and and building things now and upgrading their ships and you know so i'm trying to make sure that i have all the dice rolls figured out for that and i've pretty much got that all done so i'm pretty happy about that um and it's it's christian space so it's a it's probably a little harder that for kids because it's got all kinds of extra stuff in it but you can play with kids you're just as a gm gonna have to be the, the you know the heavy carry the load as far as the rules go and just explain to them what they can and can't do um, but the rules are meant to be pretty light. There's only like, I mean, granted, there's more r pages of rules in the Christians of Space one because of spaceships and, and robots. But the rules all go back to those few pages of um, hardcore rules, and um, which is like f 10 pages, I guess. Um, so a fun game. Uh, I, pl I am playing it on my channel, not editing it. I want to show you how it's played. The humdrum of you know working out the rules, rolling dice, figuring it all out, um, but also the fun and hilarity of just playing. And, and, and there's evangelism and planting churches. You're they're literally they get the fight. There's combat, craziness, space battles, robot killer robots, killer space bugs, uh, and even bad guys, uh, cults and stuff. But you also get to stop and breathe and and talk to the um, settler survivors and Galaxians, and whoo, you know. There's a evangelism conversion type of thing, and, and so you're working out evangelism. You're fellowshipping with your with your Christian brothers and sisters at the game table, but also talking about the Lord and Jesus to these, you know. And the GM, as a GM, I got to play kind of a jerk, you know, um, mocking and scoffing, right? Typical stuff. But I got you know, got to do it. Got to do it to, and you know, I, I obviously I'm trying to do it like a PG level, um, uh, but but I, and there's also rules though provided so that you can roll dice for the evangelism because you're going to fail as a Christian. You're going to fail lots of times, even when you have prayer and blessings from the Lord, you're going to fail uh, because it doesn't matter to God whether you succeed or fail. What matters is you, you and I want to do something for the Lord and that's what matters. We want to do something for the Lord, whether we fail or succeed or fail. That's what I'm doing here. I can succeed or fail. It doesn't matter to God. 
you know, there's still love between us, there's still grace, still joy, um, still salvation. So it's just a matter of you and me busying ourselves for the Lord. And the burden is not heavy. It is the yoke is light. I'm providing you an opportunity, a way of doing it, if, especially because in the RPG culture. Start off, my suggestion is to start off with just Christians and play the game. If you want to use this as an evangelist tool, the main thing to me as an evangelist tool is not necessarily to take this out there yet, but to just, you guys work on your evangelism in the game. Work, you know, get get get, get it to be part of our psyche again uh, as Christians. And then if you want to take this to a convention or invite friends over to play, they can play the agnostics or whatever, but, you're, but you need to first really uh, iron sharp and iron really get a strong christian fellowship group playing together before you invite non-believers in because you got to be strong in the word and and strong in your fellowship and strong in evangelism so personally right now i would recommend just christians only and work on it work on it you know work on this style of play and once you get confident with it or feel it's just next second nature then uh, start going out to the world, and I, you could even do evangelism in other games. I don't see why not. If, if they all say, if they all say that their game is fantasy and they think Christianity is not real, let's put, I just put two and two together. There shouldn't be an offense at all, you know. But it's real to you, so so is pa- paganism is real to me too. <laughs> paganism is, by definition, whatever they make up, whatever a pagan wants to make up, whatever forgotten realms god, whatever. Shadow Dark God, that's paganism. It's still paganism, whether it's... I mean, they say, oh, but it's fantasy, it's just a game. So is so is all the other pagans. They're all fantasy and just a game, too. They, they, they create a game, get you to sacrifice. You know, anyway, I'm going into the weeds there. But uh, so last 48 hours, hope you can support this ministry. And I'm hoping you take, you take, take it and run with it. Take it as your ministry. Um, so I don't own the copyright on the rules. You can't do that. You can't copyright rules. And I don't think I can copyright evangelism. So uh, I get a storyline is like whatever, you know, I guess I can copyright the storyline, but um, you know, if you're going to do church history, I can't copyright that. Uh, so that's the dark ages. And this is sci-fi. I can, you know, I, I'm copywriting the timeline, but I'm more than happy for you to use it. If you're, uh, you know, got those sort of basic tenets of Christianity uh, that are like Reformed Baptist, sure, Calvinist, she sort of. Uh, anyway, just email me and ask me. But uh, as far as making your own stuff, but playing this, having a ministry, doing your own Christian thing, home brewing, evangelism, plant planting churches for the Lord. All right, in the game of so thanks for all all the backers for our supporting. Uh, if you all can uh, check it out on Kickstarter uh, for the Lord RBG Christians in Space, um, um, this is the ministry I'm working on, and I'm hope- hoping you can join me or start your own with this. More power to you. Uh, so, in the game of life, roll holy dice. <laughs>